Hello YouTube, Reddit Math here, and welcome back to City of the Shroud. In the previous video, I just sort of showed off some of the various systems, but there is actually a campaign running uh, during the Kickstarter campaign that's sort of a, the story-based, choose your narrative based on what the players choose system, and I wanted to get in on it uh, while it's going on. Uh, episode 2, I believe, just released yesterday as of the time I'm recording this, uh, so we're getting a little bit of a late start, but we should get caught up pretty quickly. I'm just going to go ahead and dive into the story mode and see exactly what it is that the game has to offer as far as its storytelling is concerned. A shift in music. That was at least nice. Okay, so we've got like an overworld map and a temple as our only starting point. Iskindrun. Okay, random battle, talk to Hat Merchant, back to city map. Uh, I guess it's back to the Hat Merchant. Good day to you, fine traveler. Now that I am not being attacked, may I interest you in a hat? Uh, no thank you. They're all lovely, but I have no money for hats. You see, I'm in the city to make money for my family. I hope the rest of my stay here will be less eventful than that last fight. Well then, you'll want to steer clear of this area. Why so? Why, the thieves just ran past. I've no doubt the city guard will be here in a moment, and what with you being a newcomer to the city, I'm afraid they may think you're responsible. I'd go hide somewhere if I were you. Perhaps, oh dear, it looks like my advice is too late. Oh great. Escape the city guard. For now. Well, that's not foreboding at all. Okay, so we immediately get into a 4v4 fight with a city guard patrol. We're really uh, kicking off on the right foot in this new town. Come here to make a little bit of money. Immediately get into a knockdown drag out fight with the entire city guard. That seems reasonable. Uh, what do I want to do here? Let's grab him. And with wild swing, okay. And I'm gonna be over here, and I've got suplex, okay. So tell you what, let's suplex with him, and then he is gonna be right next to us. Maybe we should move back just a tad, do some sniper shots, and start stacking corruption. Always seems best least so far to just sort of focus fire on one enemy at a time and now that we're out of suplexing pretty much be doing that uh, might as well go ahead and try the disintegrate oh that's gonna be big okay and yeah disintegration did 600 damage to him I can look at that uh, unfortunately I got suplexed not a huge fan of that And, at least, probably in the very beginning, I feel like my commentary is going to suffer just a little bit as I'm trying to uh, play the combat system while also narrating. Uh, because, like, as I'm sitting here waiting for this AP to recharge, um, some of my characters are taking some massive amounts of damage, which I'm not a huge fan of. Now they've got three brutes and a single sniper. Okay. Uh, this should pretty much do it for this guy. Maybe. Maybe not. I get a couple of shots in on him. Come on. He has basically no health left. There we go. Okay. And now, let's just go ahead and start swapping to another opponent. Uh, I need to let some of that recharge, or I could just try to suplex. I'm not going to have enough AP right at the start. Uh, maybe I will. There we go. I can suplex, that should move him over, and there we go. Perfect. And then immediately greet him with a wild swing. Start stacking more corruption on him. Sniper shots for big damage. Okay. But yeah, I would hope that, uh, you know, eventually doing all of this would become sort of second nature 
and maybe I'd be able to talk at the same time with something a little bit more intelligible than just what is going on on screen. But at least for these first couple of fights, uh, that may not be the case. I was not exactly expecting the campaign to immediately dump me into a knockdown, drag out brawl with the city guard. But, you know, these things happen. At least in most fantasy RPG settings, these things tend to happen. I, uh, I must say, I've traveled to plenty of new cities in my time, and I've never once gotten into a fight with a city guard as soon as I got there. Oh, wow. Uh, so that's real bad. We just got suplexed on our own and relocated there. Uh, and there's a fairly good chance, yeah, that our big brute may not last too much longer. Actually, both of our brutes have taken a serious pummeling. Um, I would not be surprised at all if we don't manage to stand up to these guys for very much longer. Like, we've got the advantage right now, but this brood is basically at full health. Yep, there goes the first of our guys. Uh, we'll just throw out some damage here, and then I get the feeling that as soon as he's able to close with some of our uh, squishier party members, he's probably going to gain an advantage on us. Uh, so let's switch here. Get the disintegrate out. Oh, that's not what I want. Cancel. Disintegrate. And this is actually the part of the, uh, the system that I was talking about that I kind of enjoy and see the possibilities of, which is when you kind of get frantic, oh man, um, it's easy to make mistakes and feel like actual pressure from what is going on in the game. Um, and I think that's quite cool. The other game that I'm probably going to make plenty of comparisons to that I felt like did this a lot was uh, Helldivers. And I thought it did a really good job of making you kind of feel like all of your moves were uh, not just being leisurely taken, that you know you didn't have all the time in the world to do whatever you wanted to do. Uh, let's just throw some corruption stacks on him and then start to cast a disintegrate. I have to wait for that to build up just a little bit. And there we go. And then as soon as that starts, we'll also do a snipe. I'm not sure, like, they seem to take impact from the shots, and it seems to sort of stun them. Uh, but I don't think that's actually interrupting anything. I think that's, like, purely a cosmetic uh, sort of thing. And he is about to go down. Yep. All right, so sniper v. sniper. All right, I think we've got this, but, like, man, just barely. There we go. Excellent. You've beaten several of the city guards senseless. Oh, and I didn't get enough time to read that. Run, run before more of them show up. But I don't have anywhere to stay. There are three people I can think of that you might appeal to for shelter. Zim, who presides over the refugee quarter. Azura, the leader of the merchants. Or Navid, the head priest. Um, hmm. Refugees, merchants, head priest. Uh, let's check out the refugees. Tell me about Zim. I like three-letter names. The people with three-letter names are trustworthy. Fifteen years have passed now since Gaian fell to the desert tribes, and with war in the north, the refugees have come here to Iskandron. Okay. They have found a cold welcome, save for one ally, Zim, the leader of Iskandron's underworld. Oh, good. He's an underworld boss. Travel the city for long enough, and you'll hear many rumors about Zim. Little is known for certain. What is certain is that she is, she is fiercely protective of those who swear loyalty to her, and as acquisitive as a magpie with magical and precious objects. Well, that and she's cheerfully violent with her enemies. Oh, that's, that's, that's good. Tell me more about Azura. You're from the Outer Holdings, but surely even you know that the merchants are the lifeblood of Zuar Peninsula, or re what remains of it at any rate. Azura is their leader, and you would be wise to remember that though she is young, she is also shrewd and wise beyond her years. 
Of course, she is also rumored to have turned her ship's cannons on the port city of Dahala. Dah Dahila? But that has never been proven, and the fact remains that she makes a powerful ally. All right, and last but not least, tell me more about Navid. Ah, Navid. He's the leader of the priests, traveler, and the priests are one of the last bastions of kindness and charity in Iskandrin. Well, that sounds good. They offer food, shelter, and medicine to the city's poor, and Navid will not hesitate to give you one so obviously in need. Hey, I resemble that remark. Shelter for as long as you require it. Of course, there is also the question of where and how he comes by his prodigious stores of food and bandages, but that is neither here nor there. Okay, so basically, none of these people are good people. Um, the merchant might be violent. The priest is making shady deals. At least Zim is outwardly a criminal, and I can respect that. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to side with Zim. Whoever you choose, I will send word to them to await you. I choose to side with Zim. A wise choice, seek Zim out in the refugee quarter. And after all, like, I'm a, I'm a refugee, right? Or at least, actually, I have no idea who I am. I'm just a nameless, faceless guy that just showed up in the city and fought the city guard. But at least I now have a triangular ruby. And a triangular sapphire. All right, we've got an armor bonus and a dex bonus. Fair. Turn to the city map. And now we can move on to the refugee quarter. We can do random battles or talk to Zim. Let's go with a talk to Zim. You there. Are you the one who assault who was assaulted by the city guard? Yes, but I had nothing to do with the theft, I swear. Oh, I believe you. Unfortunately, the city guard believes that anyone associated with me must be a thief, or a murderer, or up to no good, which is ridiculous. Not everyone is like me. <laughs> so, let's get you patched up, shall we? That would be very nice, thank you. Manners! I love people with good manners. Now come along, come along, there is something I'd like you to do for me. Oh, good. Yes, I have questions I need answered. I had heard about the theft, of course. I always know what is happening in Iskandrin. But I had not heard that the city guard was beating random bystanders for it. I beg your pardon? What was the theft? Ah, uh, yes. The city guard is upset because someone stole several crates from the nobles' quarters. Crates that were full of a very expensive herb. What I'd like you to find out for me is, where did those crates come from? You don't want to know where they went? That seems like a problem for the city guard, no? But they had to have come from the merchants, surely. Unlikely. Azura doesn't tend to carry goods that no one can pay for, and even most of those in the nobles' quarters could not have afforded several crates of demon bane. Well, that that sounds really pleasant. Demon bane. We have, we have demons that we need to bane away? Oh... So, who wanted it, I wonder, and where did it come from? I'm not even certain where to start looking. Well, Demon Bane is a very effective medicine, but I can't imagine that many people in the nobles' quarters can possibly be sick. There is another use for it, however, dark magic. So that should give you something to go on. What if the city guard finds me again? I can't imagine that that should be a problem. You dealt with it well enough last time, after all. If you're worried, however, I might suggest running very fast. Oh, thanks, Zim. Um, the, your advice is very much appreciated. Now, off you go. Someone in the city has a source of demon bane, and I want to know who. Okay. Um, I guess we're going to the docks. I like the, uh, the background art on several of these, but this one was quite striking. I like the... Are there real ships like that with, like, this kind of triple sail? That seems really weird. And as though the back sail would not get much wind. Um, or I guess in this case the front sail would not get much wind. And that is an odd angle to have the back sail at. Someone who knows more about boats, please tell me. 
if that is a real thing or if that would just fall over when uh, a wind hit it. Hello, um, could I talk to one of the merchants? I'm a merchant. Oh, uh, which ship did you come in on? That one with the blue prow. Why? Are you conducting a survey? Uh, actually, I'm hoping to buy some demon bane. Really? Might you have heard there are crates of it available in the city then? Uh, well, yes, but I'm not looking for those. That's good, because those crates were stolen after we delivered them, and I'd be most displeased to learn that you were trying to buy stolen goods. No, no, I'm, I'm just trying to secure a permanent source. Wait, you said the merchants delivered them? Are you certain? I lead the merchants, I'm quite certain. And are you really surprised that we were the ones who delivered the goods? I just, uh, I thought they might have come over land. You're a fool. Not that it's any of your business, stranger, but we were hired to escort the crates from... Wait, you said you wanted a permanent source. You? Um, uh, yeah? Interesting. So you would either be a healer then, and a very rich one, or you want to be a witch. Do you really think you're going to summon demons? Go home, kid. You don't look crazy enough for that. Honestly, ma'am, please, if the crates came from you, perhaps you'd be willing to share with Zim. Zim? I didn't say anything. Zim wants Demon Bane, you say? Now that is one... Cr now that one is crazy enough to try witchcraft, and probably for no more reason than that she needs a way to pass her Tuesday afternoon. People have a really high opinion of Zim. However, as far as I said, I don't know where the crates came from, or indeed who they were for. By the way, would the city guard be looking for you for any reason? Oh no, are, are they here? Yes. Good luck to you. I'll be leaving now. You'll understand if I don't join in the fray. Uh, no more fraying. Oh, no. There is more fraying. Okay, uh, looks like the city guard sends another three brute patrol at us. Hmm. Tell you what, let's, let's try to get clever here. One, two, um, there we go, there we go, move up to here, move up to here, and start wild swinging. Wish I had something besides suplex to, uh, to equip to the other guy, as I don't really constantly want to be moving my enemy around like that. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Disintegrate. There we go. Uh, so I just kind of end up like wildly pressing the like non-combo skills whenever it comes time for the suplex guy to act. Oh, come on. Inching ever slowly. There we go. All right. And another disintegrate. And another snipe. Okay, okay. And you just randomly do stuff. This guy is almost done for. I would say this snipe might be able to do the trick. Uh, also, our mage is being attacked. I'm not a huge fan of that. Oh, yeah, th that is our mage being attacked. Uh, not quite dead. Um... Okay, your, your suplex man. Let's actually have you try to use the suplex to move him. And then, there we go. He goes down. Uh, I guess that didn't work. No, no, did not work. Okay, that's fine. I'm not a huge fan of the fact that this guy is just sort of attacking whoever he wants because he's standing right in the middle of my party. I'm not entirely sure if like repositioning is better than just taking it on the nose in this instance. I don't suppose a little bit of damage to our, uh, our mage is the worst thing in the world. Um, something here. And uh, something here. And uh, 
something here. Okay. Probably one more round of attacks uh, should be enough to take this guy down. Like, actually, maybe even one more disintegrate spell. Let's see how that works out. And boom. There we go. Whoa. And uh, just as that happened, uh, let's just move these guys up a little bit. Oh, I didn't have enough to cast that. That's unfortunate. Okay. Again, we shall focus on that guy. Oh, no, that happened. Let's try suplexing you again. Probably steer clear of the suplexes, as moving around is a little bit annoying. Um, for about half health so far, it's not too too bad. Uh, right, not enough for a wild swing. Stack another corrupt. Wait for our sniper shot to get up. So so far we're just kind of getting a like a taste of the story elements. Um, which I'm fine with. I, like, I don't feel like I've been beaten over the head too much with exposition, which I'm a huge fan of. I'm uh, very much a proponent of show, don't tell. And I think we're doing a pretty decent job of that. The, uh, the story's got kind of like a... Or the setting, rather, has got kind of like an Arab city feel to it. I don't know if that's just me or not. But I, I like I find it pretty cool. Um, I don't have any idea what the technology level looks like. I think we're in a pretty like firm fantasy technology world, considering. Um, do a suplex on him. Let's go ahead and move you around. Um, you know we've got ships transporting goods, but at the same time, whatever kind of rifles that uh, our range class is using here. They don't look too low-tech. Always kind of begs the question of what uh, the advance of technology would look like in a world with magic. Would there really be the incentive to do it? You know, would we need to invent computers if there were magical spells that could accomplish the same thing? Uh, that sort of stuff. Hey! So that went significantly smoother than the first time. Uh, I'm going to choose to believe that that's because I'm getting better. All right. And ooh, we learned Mega Punch. All right. I'm pretty okay with that. I would probably like to equip that. Also got some new gems to slot in. Go ahead and return back to our city map. And... We got chased away from the docks. I guess we would head back to... I'll talk to Navid. Um, at the temple, presumably? Yeah. That would make sense for a priest to be here. Yes, may I help you? Yes, I'm, I'm wondering if you know uh, any way I might acquire some demon bane? I like how casually we can just go around asking this and no one, no one like, gets us arrested. I don't know. What an interesting thing to say. What makes you think I would know that, my child? Your priests tend to the sick. Of course, I know such herbs are too costly to give away, but I thought perhaps you might know where I could buy some. And why would you seek out Demon Bane in particular? Well, you see, my younger sister is terribly ill. So you would have me believe, but many who seek out these herbs use them for dark magic. I would not be surprised if your employer sent you here to find a means for her dark dealings. What? Who? <laughs> oh, I love, like, that's such a common response in, uh, in video games. Like, the just random inquiry statements, like, uh, what, who, huh? No one, no one says that, right? Like, that's the worst kind of, of actual speech. 
Zim, of course. Even if I had not heard that you came from the refugee quarter, I would have known. Actually, I technically came from the docks, I would just like to point that out. But, oh well. Who else in the city seeks so much chaos and destruction? When I think that I had a hand in raising her. You did. And here I thought my shame was known by all. Yes, we took Zim in when she was an infant, and I was perhaps too lenient with her. She was always a mischievous, mischievous child, and while things are charming in children, mischief can easily lead to caprice, as in this case it clearly has. But that is neither here nor there, and as you are her representative, I must ask you to leave this place. Please, I swear that you... I swear to you that I have no interest in dark magics. Can't you tell me where I could find such herbs? If I did, I would not tell you. You really should leave, you know. But, you know, if you had left when I first asked you to, you would have avoided the city guard for sure. Ah, oh, man. Now, however, I'm afraid they spotted you. May the gods grant you all the luck you have justly earned. All right. And another one. Fair enough. Uh, let's see if we can't do as well as we did the last time. And here we go. Um, so we'll get him to right here. Start with the suplex. Have him move up one, move up one, move up one. Shoot this guy. Ah. No, not quite in range. Oh no, wrong, wrong character. There we go. There's some corruption on him. Do the random punching. Eh, you're not gonna have enough for a wild swing yet, huh? Um, I really do need to uh, equip something on our first brute so that he has something more to do when suplexing doesn't make any sense. Uh, there we go. Alright. Oh, there's snipe and big damage there, big damage there. Awesome. Everything else is just kind of like the I think the skill system is cool, but at the same time, like doing anything except using the skills kind of seems pointless. Like it's such little damage uh, to do the basic attacks, like compared to what you know a snipe does, for example. I'm assuming that's by design, but it should show me, like, one, this character is basically worthless uh, as long as he doesn't have a skill to use besides suplex. I probably want to do something about that. Two, it really shows that I should just be waiting if I don't have anything to, uh, to actually use a, uh, a skill on. There we go. Go ahead and start casting Disintegrate. And we'll just have to wait a second for that to kick off. Do a wild swing. See, like a little tiny bit that we're chipping away at him with uh, with normal attacks just seems kind of silly compared to the amount that we're doing with uh, with the big stuff. Ow! Corrupt might be the exception, as it's adding damage over time with just a like a single cast. But other than that, stuff is uh, generally pretty silly here. Man, I'm getting tossed all over the place. Not sure that I'm a fan of that at all. Um, yeah, let's continue to focus fire this little guy down. And still waiting on that to regen. Let's actually, maybe we can do a disintegrate here. Ah, uh, that's wrong. Descent to great. There we go. And a snipe. And there we go. Perfect. Uh, let's go ahead and move up here. Oh, we've one too many. Ugh. There we go. Wild swing. Random punchy things own character is taking quite a bit of a beating at the moment. Not super excited about that. But... Looks like we're just waiting on AP. 
Okay. So we're still 4v2. I think one of our own brute is likely going to be falling here, though. Um, not a huge fan of that. But what you're gonna do... Feel free to uh, jump into a rendition of Bad Boy from the, like, the cops theme. Yeah. Seems appropriate. I mean, this is the city guard, after all. And... Half health? Tell you what, um, let's move you up, and then suplex guy to do that. Reverse his position. Maybe just in time for snipe to come out. Then we can switch to disintegrate. And then once Disintegrate gets cast, that should be Wild Swing time. Oh no! Unfortunately, we didn't get off the Wild Swing before he got totally killed. That is unfortunate. Okay, suplex him. And then... That does put you in range to be shot. And then you are out of range to have those casts on you, though. Well, I think both of our brutes are going to end up going down in this fight. Hmm. What are the differences? Like, it maybe this is easier to see from you know the audience perspective. But like, do I seem to be making worse choices, or do the fights seem to be harder? Sometimes, like, are the city guard not always the same level? Uh, I'm not really sure what the case is for that. This guy's gonna go down to that snipe, though. Okay, maybe I should be focusing like these little guys. Um, little guys, like the sniper goes down very quickly, but is fairly high DPS. Maybe I should consider getting past the city guard's brutes and just focusing on him uh, the next time. More Mega Punches, more Circular Tobaz. Turn to the city map. Um, tell you what, let's actually pop into our party screen. And this is our suplexer. Mega Punch requires a right move. Okay. Now, does it tell me, like, what the actual moves are? It does not. Okay, that's it. It's just kind of like an uppercut. Cool. I can deal with that. Um, I think we also had... Like, we have a second Mega Punch. We might as well considering consider equipping it here. Uh, or not. There we go. I have no idea why that's so tiny. Uh, we'll call that probably a bug. Uh, we also have a second disintegrate, but we don't need it. We also have a second snipe, but we don't need it. Uh, we might consider adding some of our gems here. Hmm. Okay, more health, more strength. More armor, more dex, more HP, more evasion. Why don't we slot in evasion and and dexterity on our gunner? And then HP, armor, strength, HP. We'll just go with the uh, HP and strength and then HP armor and strength there you go slotted in all the gems that we've gotten should be a pretty decent upgrade for us I assume I'm pretty okay with that and back up here and so we've already talked to everybody so I'm assuming that our next step would be to head back to yeah Find the source. Return to Zim. 
we'd want to head back to the refugee quarter and talk to Zim again. But I tell you what, uh, we're going to go ahead and wrap this episode up. We'll break this into maybe like 30 minute parts. I'm not quite sure how long each of the, uh, the episodes are. Uh, we'll probably figure that part out after I play all through episode one. But uh, we'll break these into 30 minute chunks and uh, that, that should work out pretty well. Um, I will have a link in the description to the Kickstarter page. You know, if you liked what you've seen so far, feel free to uh, head there and check the game out for yourself. I'm sure the developers would appreciate that greatly. Uh, there's still several weeks left to go and like $30,000 they need to raise. So uh, yeah, uh, that's uh, going to do it for this episode. If you enjoyed what you saw, feel free to subscribe. There will be more videos on the channel every single day. Leave a like or a comment if you have anything to say about this or any other episodes. And I will catch you guys next time.